Um, Minister, for-profit clinics across Canada are currently charging desperate patients tens of thousands of dollars for two-tier <laughs> access to non-emergency surgery. The clinics are exploiting a loophole in the Canada Health Act that allows people to pay to jump the queue as long as their surgery is performed in a province where they don't reside. Uh, in the last election, the Liberal Party committed to strengthening the Canada Health Act to protect the integrity of our public health care system. Minister, will you act on that promise and, and act to close this cash for access loophole? Uh, well, thank you very much for the question. I, I am concerned that coming out of the pandemic, our health system uh, was weakened. Uh, we asked an enormous amount out of our health care workers. And, uh, as, and, and coming out of it, there were a, a huge number of health issues that resulted in backlogs and challenges for provinces and territories. And certainly one of the concerns that we talked about in Charlottetown is a concern about the growth in uh, for-profit operations. Uh, you're absolutely right. We have an obligation under the Canada Health Act to protect the, um, the public nature of our system and to make sure that it stays public. I can say that the conversations in Charlottetown with all of the health ministers, um, that I was able to reiterate that and talk about a need to um, uh, to push out uh, privatization that we see in the system. I sorry, I have to be pleased for six minutes.